Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Adventure Foxy from FNAF World. So we're going to start with the nose in the middle with a curve that goes from the left to the right. From here we're going to connect these two points with a slight downward curve. We'll color all this in black. Now from here I'm going to draw the upper part of the mouth. So it's basically an oval that goes from the left all the way down to the top of the teeth to the right. So we're going to start on the left here and just above that corner of that nose. So curving around like so. Now from here let's draw in some teeth. Now he's got two fangs that look like they're a little bit longer than the other teeth. So I'm going to start with those first. So I'm just going to draw like a rounded curve on the left and on the right. In the middle here I'm just going to draw two shorter curves and then on the left and right. I'll just draw one more tooth on either side. And from here, let's draw the bottom part of the mouth. Now I'm going to have the mouth open, so just underneath this tooth, I'm going to curve down to the bottom of the jaw and then back up to the right side again. So curving down, basically almost like a circle. Goes all the way to the right side. Now from here, we're going to draw the inner part of the mouth. So we're going to go in tight on the side, and as we get to the bottom, we're just going to get it a little bit thicker here. So close on the side, and then as I get to the bottom here, I'm just going to go a little bit thicker and go back to thinner on the side. And we're going to draw a row of teeth along the bottom here. So all it is, is just a series of curves like this, all the way up to the side. And we'll color the inside in black. Alright, so now that we got that, let's go up to the eye on the right side. So here, beside this nose, I'm just going to draw a curve for the bottom part of the eye. So just kind of like that. From here, I'm going to draw the upper lid. So a big curve connecting the inside and the outside of the eye. Kind of like that. We're going to draw the iris and the pupil right inside here. It's just a big circle. So starting on the top, come down, almost touching the bottom. Actually, we'll to touch the bottom at the of the eyelid and then come back up to the top. On the top right here I'm going to draw a highlight, so just a smaller circle and then behind it I'm going to draw the pupil. So a big black dot behind, we'll color that in black and now it looks like there's a couple little lines that come out to the bottom, it looks like a shadow of a pupil. So right here I'm going to draw a line going to the left and diagonally to the right. We'll color all that in black. Okay. Now let's get into the eye patch. So here, it's going to be a little bit flatter on top and then rounded along the bottom. So up on the top here, I'm going to draw a curve. And then from here on the left, I'm just going to curve down to the bottom and then back up to the top. I'm going to color all this in black. Now that we've got that in place, let's draw in the outer part of the head. So starting on either side of the eye, so left of the eye patch, right of this eye on here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes up. But in the center, up on the top, I'm going to leave a gap so I can draw some hair. So starting out here, I'm going to curve up and towards the middle, I'm going to leave a bit of a gap here. And I'm come down on the right side. Now here, let's draw in some hair. So I'm just simply going to draw three little curves. So Going out towards the left, a little taller one in the middle, and then one poking out towards the right. Now from here, let's finish off this eye patch. So from this corner, I'm going to tuck it in underneath this far right hair. So two lines curving up. We'll color that in black. Now we need a little strap on this side. So from this corner, I'm just going to draw two lines going outward, and I'll color that in black. Now before we get into the rest of the head, let's draw on some ears. So here, let's start with the one on the right side. So I'm just going to draw some simple ears. So from the top here, I'm going to curve out and to the tip. From this side, I'm going to leave a gap, and curve out, and kind of point out to a tip, but slightly rounded. And inside here, I'm just going to draw an oval, so an angled oval. So starting at the tip here, I'm just going to draw a smooth little oval. 
draw that same thing on this side here. So starting on the inside, I'm gonna go make sure, making sure that the ears are the same length. So I'm gonna put my finger where I want the length to be and curve inwards. And here I'm gonna curve the bottom part. Like so and we'll draw in that oval. All right, so we got that part. Let's draw in the cheeks and the whiskers. So here, they start to curve out to a point. But I'm gonna round out the tips too. So here I'm gonna curve out. And then on the right, I'm gonna curve out. And I'm gonna round out these tips and then tuck this in underneath this lower jaw. So let's round out the tip and then curve to that lower jaw. So the same thing on the right side, so curving and curving that line right under that jaw like that. Okay, so we got the head, let's get into the body. So let's draw the upper torso first. Starting on the left side, I'm gonna curve in and then out towards the belly. So this is almost like an arm socket. So starting right underneath this chin, I'll curve out and then around. I'm gonna take that and draw the opposite side here. So curving in and then around. And connect these two points with a downward curve. So curving like that. Let's draw that belly patch, so it's almost like an egg shape. So it's a little bit smaller on top, a little bit wider along the bottom. So starting underneath this chin, come down, go a little bit wider, and then coming up to that point there. Let's draw on the lower torso. So here, right where this turn happens, I'm just gonna draw a curve on the left and curve on the right. He's gonna come in towards the center, so curving in, and then from these two points, I'm gonna connect them sort of a downward curve like that. Let's draw on some simple legs. So basically from this point here to this point, I'm gonna draw kind of like an elongated oval like that. And there looks to be some cracks and rips here, so I'm gonna draw a curve like this. Do it twice, and then three times tuck that in. I'm gonna color this in black. Draw this side here, so the exact same thing. So starting on the inside, curving down to the knee and then back up again. And then like what I did here, I'm just gonna draw three little curves like that. We'll color that in black. All right, so we got that. Let's draw in some kneecap joints. So over here, I'm just gonna draw a little curve like this. On the right, I'll do the same thing. Now let's draw in the shin bone. So here, just inside, I'm gonna draw a line going straight down, and on the right, going straight down as well. I'm gonna connect these two points with a slight curve. Now this part here on the foot gets a little bit tricky, but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible because we have to get into a little bit of perspective here. So from this point, I'm gonna curve out, and from the back of this line, I'm gonna curve out. So you see, there's a slight angle in these two lines. So I'm gonna draw a line straight across, now this is where I'm going to have to draw two almost rectangular boxes here. So from this point, I'm going to draw a line coming down, an angle. Move over, and draw a line like that. And leave a gap, another line, and then from this end, draw a line like so. So these are the two toes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine a line going this way. Connect those two lines, and those two lines. Now I'm going to take these corners, these four corners, and pull down a little short line straight down. Now I'm going to close out the bottoms, I'm drawing an angled line. Now from here, from this corner, I'm going to go backwards. So following that same line, going back. With this one, I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to tuck this in just like so. From this point, this line here, I'm going to draw that down like that. So we got sort of like a, almost like a 3D shaped foot. Let's draw the exact same thing over on this side. So this foot, I'm going to sort of kick it out a little bit. So drawing an angled line like this, like that, making sure that the width is the same and curving and rounding out the bottom. So now with this top part of the foot, I'm gonna start from the back of the heel, coming like this. From the top, coming like that. Then I'm gonna connect these two points with an angled line. Now from here, let's draw on the top of the, the toes like I did on this side. So draw one line, draw two, leave a gap, three and four. And then I'm gonna connect those lines across, like so and then pull down those corners, those four corners. Connect those lines. I'm gonna take this corner and pull that back. Now this line is gonna go all the way back. 
and then tuck it in behind that heel. Take this line and pull it straight down. Okay, so we got the feet. Let's get into the arms. So let's draw the right one first. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that, leaving a little gap in here. This is where the ball joint will go. So I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. And I have the arm coming down this way. So I'm going to draw the top of the arm and then the bottom of the arm like this. Close that off with a straight line by connecting the two lines. And I have the forearm coming down this way. So I'm going to draw the inner part of the forearm and the outer part of the forearm. So just these little curves. I'm going to close that off with a straight line. Now for some simple little hands, I'm going to start on the inside of the arm and just draw a curve like this. Just draw on a thumb. So from here, from the joint, I'm just going to curve and round up the thumb and then pull this in. And from here, I'm just going to split this finger in half. So the thumb is going to draw a little curve like that. Let's draw another finger. So here, I'm going to draw a curve, round up the fingertip, and come right back in. From here, I'm going to do an overlap. So coming up here and pulling that in like that. And then finally, one, one pinky here. I'll pull that right into that wrist. And I'm just going to split the fingers with these little curves. Go like across like that. Okay, now let's get into the final arm. I'm going to have the arm up here with the hook. So starting in the shoulder area, I'm going to draw a curve like this. I'm going to curve down and curve this into the body like, the, like so. From here, let's go into the forearm. So from this point here, I'm going to curve up to the wrist. From here in the elbow, I'm going to curve up towards the wrist. And then I'm going to curve and round out that wrist area. From here, I'm just going to draw sort of like a half circle. So from this point, it's going to almost like a ball behind there. And then the hook. Start on the outer part of the hook, curving out, and then almost like a question mark, it'll come up and in like that. From here, I'm just going to taper out, and then just kind of have a consistent line all the way through to the back, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Adventure Foxy from FNAF World. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.